What is up, guys? Super Easy Gamers here today. So today I'm back in another video today. So today I'm going to be um, I'm here back with the tutorial, guys. I haven't made a tutorial in a while. I know I haven't made like a tutorial, but it says that I make tutorials because you know I usually make tutorials. So that's why I put it there. But I think I should I, did, I think I should definitely make tutorials again because I don't see a reason why I stop making tutorials. I said, I said, so I decided to come back to, to tutorials and start making PC tutorials mainly, and I'm back, guys. Finally, um, but yeah. So today I'm gonna be showing you how to fix the uh, com a common Windows problem, a common Windows 10 problem that some people have, and it's it, the, a problem where the Windows Store doesn't work and the Windows apps don't work. So yeah, it's basically a problem where the Windows Store doesn't work. Like when you open it up, it either crashes or gives you an error and it won't let you like watch the Windows Store and stuff like that. So this is a com these are these are some few common fixes that could probably fix your problem if you're having this problem. Um, yeah, it's how to fix like the Windows Store thing. Um, but yeah. Um, this video was suggested by an um an Xolidity PH, so so yeah, so, so he's the one who 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 suggested this video for me. So yeah, um, so to fix this problem, uh, the first thing you want to do before you do anything else is you want to um you want to press on your Windows Windows key, and then you should see this, and you want to go to your settings right here, and then you want to go to update and security. And you want to go to, and uh, oh yeah, oh yeah, make sure your uh, Windows is updated too. I think that's one thing you should probably do as well, uh, just in case. So yeah, make sure you always like update your Windows. Uh, yeah. All right, and now go to uh, troubleshoot. We go to troubleshoot, and you want to scroll down until you see, all the way down until you see Windows Store apps. Now this will troubleshoot uh, any any problems that um, that may prevent the Windows Store and apps from working properly. So find it. It'll it'll tell you what you could do to fix it. Um, yeah. So you press on this and you want to run this troubleshooter. And I'll start running the tr troubleshooter and 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 um, and I'll try I'll try uh, d detecting uh, problems. But I'm not gonna do this because I don't have any problems. So yeah, you want to run the troubles troubleshooter and then. Uh, it might ask you to sign in, so if you sign in, then you want to make sure you sign into your Windows account. Um, yeah, and yeah, and it'll detect any problems you have, and yeah, and it'll, it'll give you some solutions that you can do, and you'll try the solutions. If this supposed doesn't give you any solutions and doesn't find any problems with your, with your Windows Store, here's another here's another um, fix that might work. So. Now, so now what you want to do is you want to close the troubleshooter. You want to you want to close out uh, the settings. Now you want to copy this. You want to copy this right here. This right here. Um, you want to copy this and link. In so this will be in the link in the description below. And so it will be there. And you want to open your Windows PowerShell. So it could be called Windows PowerShell. Open. And it should look like this. And what we want to do is you want to paste it in here. So paste it in here. There we go. So you should. So you can paste it by um, by pressing Control V Control V at the same time on, on your keyboard. And you know you should see this. It should paste right here. And you want to press Enter. And well, well, this what this does is, is it basically restarts like your like it resets your whole Windows Store thing. It's gonna help us fix it if it has any problems that. Uh, so and this is probably an easier way to fix them because it, it, I think it, I think it like reinstalls your uh, your Windows Store, and yeah, and it's always a good fix. But I'm not gonna do this because, then again, I don't have any problems. But you, but if you have, if you have problems, then definitely do this and and then and reopen your Windows Store. Reopen your Windows Store and it should open as normal. You should be able to you know play Minecraft whatever. should open whatever and then you can just like buy it if you haven't already or run it as usual and yeah that's pretty much that right there um yeah and should start working now here's the last solution that if so if all those um solutions don't work um then here's the one last solution you should probably do and that should probably fix it once and for all well, so what you what you might what you might need to do is you might need to create a new Microsoft account, 
this will definitely uh, help you if none of these solutions have uh, helped your uh, have helped you. So just cut, just go to Windows thing again. Go to your um, your account thing right here. You want to click on change account settings, so you can click, quickly get to the uh, Microsoft thing. And what you want to do is you want to go to um, family node users or whatever. Um, so you might want to create a new Microsoft account. Oh, actually, don't, don't go to there. You want to go to um, email and accounts. You might want to add another Microsoft account and like create like like another account. Basically, just create another account, another Microsoft account, a completely different one, and you know go through the setup and everything. Just, just add it right here. So you just do this. Just wait, and you just want you just want to make a new one. Uh, and and you want you want to make sure you press on create one. So, yes, press on create one, and it should it should let you create a new account. And yeah, you might you might want to sign into that uh, new account, or at least set it up with this, I guess. Um, but yeah. So, anyways, that should um, that should fix that problem. And if you don't have any emails to use, you can always make a new alt account, like how I had an alt account. I mean, not an alt account, an alt email. Like a random alt email it doesn't really matter what it what what alt, what email it is just whatever. So like I have the second one that I have just just in case I get and just in case I need it. It's a it's a it's a random email I know. <laughs> but yeah, make sure you have alt email so you can uh, set it up with your new Microsoft account. And hopefully this fixes your issue when when you start up your Microsoft um your Microsoft Store. Once you've done all of this, and it should start up correctly. And yeah, so that's pretty much how you do this, guys. Um, hope you guys enjoyed, enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope, I, know, I, hope, I hope it's um, actually fixed your problem. If this if this didn't fix your problem, let me know. Let me know in the comments, and I'll try to find another solution for you guys in the comments below. So if it doesn't fix your problem. Let me know in the comments. If it does fix your problem, let me know in the comments that it fixed your problem, and make sure be sure to drop a like on this video. And subscribe for more tutorials i'll be making more soon probably next week um but yeah anyway guys thanks for watching this video and see you guys later Bye bye <laughs>